hello guys welcome to my channel welcome to amazing guy tv so in this video i'm going to teach you how to use vmix multi view i'm going to uh, teach you how to create uh, vmix multi view so we were going to add multiple inputs so you can actually organize for example this is all this is the all input camera input elements multi view and an example this is the audio and uh, this is the photos and this is the videos so on and so forth you can actually create the different inputs at the same time so i have here some example this is just an example because i don't have the camera yet so I create a simple picture file. So I'm going to add it in all input. You can actually drag and drop or you can just simply add input. Okay, I will drag and drop here. Simply drag and drop. And after that, you can actually rename it. So you go to general. For example, this is a camera input one. Camera input two. Camera input three. And this is uh, PC two. If you are going to connect it with a video mixer using HDMI. and we will add example a background so i mean here is some um, background uh, okay it's all up to you if you can add nature it can be photos or videos it depends to you okay and after that can drag it and drop okay so this is our background for example so you can actually duplicate this to create a create the virtual input so we can add a different multi view at the same time so click general and layers and create click background and then camera one so for camera two so example camera one we're going to okay we'll uh add the camera one first we will uh, change the position Okay, we will make it short An example and the next is camera two you can just uh, add or resize as you want and next is camera three Camera 3 is below. And then the PC2. So you can uh, add borders if you want. For example, we will add uh, border. Okay, add some um, maybe maybe black or blue, or we we'll make it visible. Twenty. Okay. 
another one. Add it to in the and camera three. DC2, you'll add uh, another border. Okay, we already have the border, or you can uh, change the transition. So, no more preview. Okay, so that's it. So, we have our first multi view and second multi view we can create another virtual input and then we go to layers click background and then first oh, camera one this is our camera one we will make it a bit smaller and we can crop it And then we change the position and then camera 2 or PC2. We'll uh, okay, adjust it again and then we will adjust it. Okay, so we have our second multi view. You can uh, change the transition. Okay. So next transition, we will add another one, create another virtual input. Okay, you go to the position, click background, and then, uh, okay. So example, um, camera two, we'll input camera two at the right side. We'll crop it. And the next is uh, next input is a PC2. In the left side, we will put it in the left side. We will change the position again. Camera two, this is camera two. Okay. And then we change the transition from preview to transition. Okay. All right. So we already have different transitions. Can uh, change the transition. Okay. Example transition two. Like that. Okay. Uh, now transition three. Transition four. Yeah, transition one. Okay. Actually, this is one is the live output, and this is the preview. So transition to we click instead of transition we click transition one three PC two okay so we can actually arrange all the inputs here we simply click okay this is our camera inputs is color red so we click, click configure and then we change it it to red next red red and red so these are all the inputs so the camera inputs and uh, the elements example the background click green 
and then the multi view this color orange click orange 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 okay so that's it so these are the all all inputs so these are the camera inputs these are the elements background multi-view audio source photos if you have and videos so if we want to change the background just simply click general change okay we change it for example we change it to forest with moon okay click open then okay the multi view you can see the background is also changing You can add the elements if you want. You can add the text or headlines or lower thirds. So you can have input it in the elements. So, so for audio, any audio source is in the camera, the mixer, or your uh, laptop or your uh, webcam. Just simply add the inputs. Click inputs here, add input. You can uh, choose the different audio device source. And photos, if you have some static photos, videos, so just simply drag and drop. So it's organized and very easy to use if you need it. So I guess that's it. That's all for our tutorial today. I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, feel free to hit the button, subscribe, and follow. Comment down below if you have any suggestions. Thank you very much and have a great day.